their team fighters. dynamic. It looks like they're rocking the Peach and the Rob, uh, two characters that have seen significant bumps here in the Ultimate Engine. And on the flip side, you have Robin and King K. Rule. Okay, so Easy is actually the Rob from Mexico. He's a, he's mm. a top player from Mexico. Okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm guessing they may be from uh, TJ. Yeah, so pretty nearby. Also kind of San Diego region. They may have played each other a couple times. Yeah, you Let's never know, but they are MSMs. sitting here in winter semi, so they have been putting in the work to get here. So far, uh, Easy in Houston got quite a bit of damage on to Ido's King K. Rule, which as they should, because that's going to be one of the heavier characters in the game. They're going to want to knock out his stocks as soon as possible. Yeah, no, and really this has just been the team dynamic for Fallen and Ido all day. Uh, really, Fallen has allowed Ido to go straight up in there, take all the damage, be that heavy hitter, and you have Fallen just chilling in the back, keeping those stocks, and just following up when the opportunity comes to him to just steal up the stocks. Yeah, absolutely. And that's also the nature of how like Robin plays as well, is mostly a projectile attack top. Oh, there goes the character. down smash, taking that one away. Oh, okay, great save there. The King K. Roll down smash would have certainly led to a ton of percent, maybe even death. No, and he spoke about this earlier, King K. Roll, that big body, sitting at 192. The stock is still not Ooh. gone, but is too far away to save his teammate. Solid up smash coming up from easy, following up from the grab. Completely even in stocks here, both of the heavy carriers here on the field also. Uh, carrying a lot of percent, <laughs> K. Roll in particular, living to 200, which I feel like is pretty pretty common. There goes uh, Easy's stock again. Yeah, and there goes Hido's yeah, right dead, away. Dead even. Yeah, both of them just kind of, both teams just feeling each other out. Wow, Easy getting a couple of grabs there and another down smash from Ido. Trying to follow up into a couple more things, but still that neutral is such a great tool there at the ledge. Yeah, great jabs. And great interruption from Houston as well with the down air. The F tilt staying on line for Ido. There we have Houston losing his stock yet again. The down air off the mark, but so close. It's going to be something we're going to have to look out for moving on through the set. It's crazy. I mean, I've seen the combo into uh, the side B off stage with Rob, but he's just kind of going for it as an edge guard, which, I mean, why not? Rob has the capability to make it back to yeah. the stage. I mean, on King K. Roll, that's actually a fantastic yeah. option just because Huge on the sides, play. Um, he doesn't really have a lot of the armor, and he, he's True, able yes. to go ahead and get hit. Because the propeller is the main issue with King K. Rule. Which is King K. Rule's recovery to go ahead and yeah. yeah. Uh, I was actually great awareness right there coming out from Fallen, tossing out that L Thunder to help out his teammate get back to this stage. Fallen and Ido uh, very solidly holding on to four of their stocks here, and. I don't in particular is only at 117%, which I feel like is still pretty healthy for K. Roll mm -hmm. being so heavy. Now he's gonna eat that forwarder. Still, the stock not gonna be gone, but he does eat that Thoron, unfortunately. Yeah, if uh, Easy and Houston are able to take Fallen stock here, then they can pretty easily uh, make the comeback as well. It's completely not out of the question. But there goes Houston. Now it's left to a 2v1 with Easy. I mean, he's got projectiles, he's a big body. He may be able to keep them out for a while. No, nah, but the key word there, he is a big body. Yeah. When he finally gets touched, he's gonna take a lot of damage. And Maybe even lose that stock, you never know. And I mean, the two characters that he's fighting against are also not, you know, uh, strangers to zoning. There we go, Idol just trying to go ahead and use the musket. Catch him a little bit, dash attack, using that big belly one more time, send him off stage. No, see, and, that, and that's the dangerous yeah. part about this team yeah. with Fallen and Ito. Ito just runs up there, push, pushes that musket to go ahead and try to suck up the opponents. But you have Fallen there in the back trying to follow up with a Thoron or even just the arc fire. So Fallen and Ito are going to move up one game here. Let's see what the uh, counter pick will be from Houston and Easy. Looks like we're going to go to a Smashville. So for Easy and Houston, they were doing well in the beginning of the game when they were getting their team combos, and they are able to go ahead and get those grabs and get the easy follow-ups. But for the red team, what they ended up doing was splitting both of them, make yeah. it basically into the 1v1 situations, yep. separate them, and just really pick apart, get, get what team combos that they can, but make sure they can't save one another. And also just like maintaining the center. You would see a Fallen and Ido in the center a lot while uh, Easy and Houston were off stage or towards the corners. But here we have game two on Smashville. And just again, we're seeing the same strategy we were just talking about, Ido and Fallen employing 
but now coming out from Houston and uh, easy. Yeah, no, and it's working out for them so far in the early goings of this match. The F-Tilt picking up the gyro. Idol trying to toss it right back, but there we have it. The grabs, fourth or leading into the up smash. Not quite going to take that stock, but hey, it's some good damage. All right. Oh, yeah, he's hitting his teammates, unfortunately, on accident. There goes the grab. Forward throw. He tried to use the armor to get past that laser. Not going to happen this time around. Down smash. Opposite direction. Oh, they're good. All right. Easy and Houston coming alive right now up by, uh, yeah, haven't lost any stocks. Still at the fresh, relatively healthy percents as well. Easy right there. He just did a single down tilt onto Fallen. Did immediately disengage to go after Ido. He already understands that they want to go after this big body. Make him lose those stocks since he's been living to about 100, 200 yeah. percent. Yeah, exactly. And that's that's the name of the game. I mean, I think they were trying that a little bit in the first game, but they were kind of finding their footing, especially against two players of this caliber. It's not going to be all 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 uh, cakewalk. Wow, Easy going so deep for that edge guard. Not quite going to get it. But that is just the threat he is giving onto Idol, not allowing this crocodile to recover for free. All right, looks like Houston may be going a little bit too low there. Yeah. yeah good tech, able to stock. stay. Forward air is going to clean it up. We have Idol sitting at 132, but he's no stranger to this damage. Absolutely not. They got even stocks too with the rage that K Rule has as well. He's going to be living a little bit longer uh, if Easy and Houston aren't able to team off of them. Yeah, the up air still unable to do it. There was no type of rage on the part of Rob and Easy. I don't going to be able to hold on. Dash attack, no, still not going to be it. Yeah, on the opposite side, of Easy putting Fallen off stage now. I like that from Idol. Try to just threaten just enough to make sure he disengaged from his teammate. Oh my god, just throw it out again and again. He tried to <laughs> toss down the gyro, but the gyro ends up getting hit by the forward yep. smash instead. It makes sense too, because that is a golf club after all. So. <laughs> Unfortunate stuff, but that. you have Easy and Houston looking quite clean here in game two on their counter pick. Yep, no, Easy understanding. <laughs> Heidel just got, trying to run up top to get away from these projectiles, but he's going to go all the way around to get the damage that he needs. Uh, Red Team kind of mounting the comeback a little bit. Just needs to get the stock away from Easy. We're going to have Easy in stocks. Oh. Potential situation right there. Oh, Forward my air. goodness. Ooh, he's not going to make it. That's it. On the way back. Wow. wow. What a turnaround, Edmund. Just like that, the tides have turned. The possible victory that could have led them to a game three slowly slipping out of their hands. <gasps> All the way to the blast zone. That's going to be it. We're left in a 1v1 situation. Yes. And down to the wire now. Only 43% on easy. Not too far behind for Fallen. Yeah, Fallen's feel like been feeling quite comfortable yeah. with this character. Uh, he's been testing out Rosa, trying to fill the waters with her, but uh, he's kind of just at the point where it's like, I'm, I'm not enjoying this character as much as I thought I would. Let me start venturing up everywhere else. And we've seen the Robin for him back in Smash 4. Yeah. But here in Ultimate, with the significant buffs that she has received, he is just having a blast with her so far, as you can already see. And we can see that across the board and throughout the game, right? Um, here we go. Yeah, I think it really comes down to... Up smash. To that Ooh. is going to be it. Catching him there at the ledge. Absolutely. And Rob having a really good ledge trap game as well. But I don't know if it's up to the par with uh, Robbins. I feel like her tools oh, come no. out a little bit faster. Damn, oh, salty Yo, what, what well. these guys do. Did you get salty? It just happens. It happens. It <laughs> they broke the setup. It happens, bro. It happens, bro. They were... They, they just messed up. They tugged it a little too hard. Yeah, I'm like, wait a second. I I, I saw that <laughs> no look, signal with the quickness. But regardless, <laughs> we will go ahead and figure that out. <laughs> but great stuff to Fallen and Idol clutching it out Absolutely. there at the end, uh, sticking with it. And, you know, that I back air. See the game that too, back air at so good, 30. Dude. They were playing so well. I, I'm a little sad, but, yeah. No, see, good stuff Idol just saw his opportunity. Idol. Got him with that spike. Made sure he couldn't come back. And yeah, That was a wrap. Yeah. King K rule pick, always going to be a good pick at doubles. Any heavy character is usually a good no. pick at doubles. And in this game, the heavies are fantastic characters. <laughs> you were talking about Robin's buffs. I mm -hmm. mean, talk about literally any character's buffs. Oh, this, this, is, this is why I don't have a main still, Edmund. I cannot find a character I can commit to because everyone is just so fun. But it's cool because they are fun. And the fact that all characters are fun now makes it so that everyone who was playing, like you said, Robin... Uh, 
Ido, or I'm sorry, Fallen mess around with Robin in Smash 4, but now they're actually a much better character in this game. So you're going to have even more fun with those characters. So anyone who's carried over with their mains is just going to have all that experience and with a much better character. And that's going to make the longevity of the game last a lot longer. No, too, definitely. So. And really, to your point, especially within the first month of this game yeah. in its infancy, uh, those carrying over from Smash 4 with their older mains are definitely going to excel a little better than yeah. those picking up new characters just because they have that familiarity. But, you know, slowly but surely, we're seeing people that are picking up these new characters do quite well. Absolutely. So I'm excited to see how people end up adapting to the Inklings, to the Ridleys, yeah. to the Croms, you know, all, all the characters that are the heavy hitters at the moment. Yeah, I'm playing all of those, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's how, of that's course how you are. <laughs> that's how I feel about uh, playing this game. No, but actually, I, I think I play Wolf. Okay. Wolf, Wolf, I think, is like... He's high tier, at least. That, yeah, no, I, I definitely feel. think he is a very good character. Yeah. He's very fun. He's very safe. And that's really one thing that Tweak was actually mentioning on Twitter a little bit ago. He was just saying, like, yes, even though Wolf does lack a couple of kill options, yeah. that you, you have your backer, obviously, you have your back throw, but, you know, you don't really have to force anything with the character just because you control the neutral with that laser. Yeah. If you, As long as you play your game, you're patient, the kills will come to you, and I think that's just the balance of the character. And overall, that's just the balance of Ultimate in general. Ultimate, for sure, yeah. Ultimate, really, really balanced game overall. Uh, most of the characters have something strong and uh, you can contribute that to a lot of the universal mechanics mm -hmm. like uh, three frame jump squat low aerial lag mm -hmm. you know that that alone is basically like l canceling to me like it's but it, with it's like auto l canceling yeah. uh, in a in a way you know don't don't uh, shun me melee community just because <laughs> i'm not trying i'm not trying to say this is melee like it's a it's its own game melee is great brawl is great mm -hmm. ultimate's great you know look smash and platform fighters alike yeah. are great guys they're all great Games are great. Mm -hmm. You know, if it, any anything in the FGC, fighting games in general, you know, All right. it's what you need. So we have our, our next competitors up here already, and we have another team from San Diego. I know at least Phoenix is from mm. San Diego. I'm not familiar with his teammate. But on the other side, we have Zan and Eon. Zan uh, being a notable player here from SoCal, previous PR, I think top all-time SoCal yeah. PR. Uh, Eon as well. So, Phoenix as well, actually. So we have a three at least. Yeah, you have yeah. three SoCal PR yeah, here yeah, all incredible. time. Uh, some incredible players coming up. Let's really just show how are they doing so far here in Ultimate. If I'm not mistaken, I know Cookie Slayer, a.k.a. Zen, yeah. has been using... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Cookie Slayer, <laughs> yeah. No, I know he's been rocking the Young Link quite a bit. Yes. And... I'm not sure if he's playing anyone else, but I think he's fully committed to Young Link yes. for now until Joker comes. And I love, I love that decision. I love both of those decisions because I'm a so down for Joker, <laughs> but b it is fantastic to see Zan perform with a character that's in a way similar to his old main that has that like creative factor in Zan being a really creative player. Uh, this character just has so many options, like the. He's so fast on the ground, he, he does feel like melee in a way. Again, I'm going to make that comparison a lot. But it, it's really fun to see the things that he does. He's really, he, I think he's probably one of the better uh, young links out there right now. Um, still, you know, have yet to see a lot of people come up. But we'll see a little bit of that yes, in this first fi game Finally, here. the yeah. first people going straight to the music. Find, find yeah, a yeah. slapper to find go ahead and song. play. That's what I do when also, I play the game. Absolutely. That I pick my songs every time. Let, let's get one thing straight, though. I, I, I'm glad they picked the song on Pugios 2.